Howdy, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. We're here just chilling under our nice little umbrella on, at the beach by Slateport City. We're gonna fight some trainers, so I hope you like battles, because I do. Our sandcastle's taking a long time to make. Oh, do we? I guess we already fought these people? You can have this. Obtain the, okay, soft sand, that's good. That's just gonna raise, uh, we're going to get all the sand from the beach and make a big castle. And then we're going to be king and queen. We'll let you be a servant. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, soft sand just raises the uh, power of sand type. Not sand type. What am I only talking about? Ground type moves. Uh, it's a held item, so if you give it to a ground Pokemon, it'll be good for you. Uh, battle with me. Did you just have like one too many sodi pops, sir? Why you, sir, you had one too many Sodi Pops. You're doing the up yours gesture to a, a small child on his Pokemon journey. Have some decency, okay. Bullet Seed. That's probably gonna be not very effective, right? Cause it's flying. Well, it's not doing so bad. Just hit it one more time. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Dark Nut, I love you, man. You may not have been good at the start, but you're, you're, you're proving your worth, to be sure. Man, you need to like cut back on the sodi pops. I'm usually stronger than this. I'm just seasick as a dog. Oh, okay. I'm a sailor, but yeah. How are you seasick standing on the beach? What the? I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. I could go for a sodi pop too. All right, I could go for a nice. Dr. Pepper, a nice DP. But you know what? Some people have to have to stand out here and do battle like men. And and duke it out. Okay, so Nature Power is gonna do Earthquake here. Which uh, does nothing against Winkle, but against Zigzagoon. <laughs> it's gonna yeah, one hit KO, because I think uh, Nuzleaf has a pretty high well not it's not anything special, but it's a, a decently high uh, physical attack stat. Will you have another match with me when I'm not all thirsty? I guess so. I'll give you my phone number, sure. To or Ricky. Uh, oh, oh man, you were hidden. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Oh my, two people were hidden. Ta-da, see, my inner tube's round. We got a fucking ambush double battle here. Rude, just plain rude, honestly. Tuber Chandler, why don't you go back to the, why don't you go back to the set of friends, Chandler? What are you doing? What are you doing offset? Battling Pokemon. That's not. That's not your purpose. Okay. Is hopefully Double Kick will take him out one hit, please. Oh yeah, sure. Awesome, possum. I wanted to take advantage of Dark Nuts. Uh, physical attack. Unfortunately, both of his types are special. And this is kind of the disadvantage of the of the kind of battle mechanics prior to Gen 4. Um, I guess I haven't really explained this. I didn't really know much about it back in Gen when I was playing through Crystal, so I didn't explain it then. I I don't think uh, but I guess I'll take now to explain how attacks work and like ty how types work uh, prior to Gen 4. Uh, so in Gen 4 moves, there was like a big overhaul of the battle system in which moves either became physical or special based on like whether they, like what kind of move they were, like whether they made contact with the opposing Pokemon. So like for instance Tackle is a physical move and like Psybeam is like a special move because you don't really like you don't jump on the opposing Pokemon to do Psybeam you know you just kinda use your psychic waves. I don't know I don't fucking know how they determine how it's physical or special now but uh, in the olden days through uh, gens 1 through 3 uh, moves physical or sp special status was based on their type. So, for instance, uh, 
fighting type moves were always physical, whether they made contact or not. And uh, psychic moves were always special, whether they made contact or not. Um, so, for instance, uh, if you take a Pokemon like uh, Dark Nut here, he's Grass Dark type. Both those types are special. So, he doesn't really get to take advantage of a stab uh, move that makes use of his high physical attack. Which is a big shame. Yo, trainers, whether you're- oh, I already talked to this girl, didn't I, in the last episode. So it's kind of a shame that he doesn't really get to take advantage of his physical attack unless you give him a physical attack. Uh, so I was thinking about teaching him, like, double edge or something just so he can- or maybe shadow ball. Because Ghost is physical type in this game. I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. Man, I'm not going to cry. Didn't I already talk to a girl like last episode that was like, don't cry? And I was like, man, if only you knew how tough I was in real life. I don't cry over anything. I don't cry over spilled milk. I don't cry over Pokemon battles. Nothing. Nothing makes me cry. I guess that's a bad thing, right? That you should be able to cry at, at like some things in life, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I, Shadow Ball, I guess, is a good choice. But the thing about Ghost type is I don't really understand like the purpose of it. I understand the purpose of Ghost type Pokemon uh, because they are not affected by normal type moves, which is, I guess, kind of like their selling point but at the same time there's nothing that ghost is effective against that dark type isn't also effective against so I'm just kind of confused I was thinking about teaching dark nut uh, faint attack for like a dark stab but at the same time dark nut's gonna be able to learn shadow ball uh, which is ghost so it doesn't get stabbed but it is physical, so it takes advantage of his physical attack stat. And at the same time, it has like more power than faint attack. So I really don't know like what to do. I kind of, maybe maybe I'll have like both of them. Maybe I'll have faint attack and shadow ball. I guess, why not, right? You might as well, because he's dark type, you might as well have a dark type move to take advantage of that. But I'm just wondering if like, it would be better for me to just use Shadow Ball instead of using, uh, instead of using Fan Attack. Like, I wonder if Shadow Ball, considering his physical attack stat and the fact that it's, like, has a stronger attack power, or base attack power, I wonder if it, like, transcends style. Like, I wonder if Shadow Ball will just be like no questions asked better than faint attack i'll have to probably maybe there's like a calculator that i can figure that out on because i really don't know i don't know how much stab really does i think it's like well super effective is like 1.4 times the amount of normal damage i don't know how much more stab factors into the the whole formula here I'm sure there's like calculators I can do this for me. I don't know why I'm trying to rack my brain to figure this out. So I guess after this episode, I'll like look up a calculator and kind of figure out. Oh, that's. I guess that's doing neutral damage because it's poison type. Yeah. Don't poison me, please. That's the last thing I need. Super effect. Oh, fuck you. Ah. Uh. The, the thing about grass types is they have a lot of weaknesses, so, and dark types too. The dark type really does nothing for dark mode, especially if it's, if that's, especially if I'm just going to use shadow ball anyway. So, I mean, this makes dark nut weak to fire, flying, ice, fighting, and a double weakness to bug. And something else, maybe I'm missing something else, I don't know. Yes, let's switch to Sanders here, because Sanders 
has flash or not flash peck. I was looking at flashlight when I was was saying that. Sanders has peck, so it gets him super effective. Unfortunately, not stab, but it's okay. We'll get a flying type later on. Spoiler alert. I'm, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to spoil the surprise, but we are gonna get a flying type Pokemon later, later on down the road. Not for a while though. That was a hot battle. I can accept that loss, matey. Accept the loss and drink a soda pop. You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop. Yes, I finally got my soda pop. My delicious Dr. Pepper. Oh, I guess he can buy soda pop here too. I guess this is like his soda pop machine. Like his soda pop brewery here. Uh, so yeah, you can see the, the, the effects of poison taking place. Um, I don't know how much I need to explain because I don't know how familiar everyone here is with Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna want to take care of that. Well, actually, I could just go to this Slateport uh, Pokemon Center. Basically, every few steps you take, poison deducts one point of damage, so every time you see the screen kind of flash a little bit, that's poison doing it, taking its toll. In the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, we are going to uh, fight the rest of the trainers on the beach if there are any more left. And I guess other than that, we'll just explore Slateport City. So it should be fun. I will see you then.